we are on our way to the Kruger National Park. Join Delwyn and Steve as we explore this amazing wildlife sanctuary. We are visiting the Kruger National Park for two weeks. We intend traveling the full length of the park, entering at Malalan Gate and staying at Pretoriaskop, Marula, Palule, Tsenzi and Punda Maria and then exiting at Punda Maria Gate. Join us for a journey of unrivaled wildlife and nature. Kruger National Park, two million hectares of pristine African wilderness. In the northeast corner of South Africa, bordering Mozambique and Zimbabwe, lies the Kruger National Park. The park consists of nearly 20,000 square kilometers and is one of the largest game reserves in the world. It is approximately 360 kilometers long from north to south and the widest point from east to west is about 90 kilometers. It was proclaimed by Paul Kruger in 1898 as the Government Wildlife Park which subsequently became known as the Sabi Game Reserve and in 1926 it was officially named the Kruger National Park. The climate is subtropical with hot summers and mild winters. Rainfall occurs in summer with December to February being the wettest months. The vegetation includes woodland, savanna grassland and shrub felt. There are some mountainous areas. The park is dotted with acacia trees and features many massive ancient baobab trees. There are numerous large rivers crisscrossing the park. Kruger is home to nearly 150 species of mammal, including the Big Five, over 500 bird species with more than half being permanent residents, and 126 species of reptile. Delwyn and I visit the park every second year. We only skipped this tradition once due to COVID, so it's our first time back in four years. It is June 2023, so it's midwinter and the dry season. Kruger experienced a lot of rain earlier this year, and we are expecting flowing rivers, greenery, tall vegetation, and an abundance of wildlife, especially youngsters. We wanted to be in the park as early as possible, so left well before sunrise. After 450 kilometers, we crossed the Crocodile River and booked in at Malalan Gate. We are now in the Kruger Park. We entered through Malalan Gate and now we're on our way to Afsal for some breakfast. Afsal is a very busy picnic spot, but it has a nice kitchen that, amongst other things, serves delicious fed cook and milkshakes.
Pretoriaskop is one of the oldest rest camps. It is a popular camp near the western border and not our usual style of overnight stop. But it's only for one night. Tourescope yesterday afternoon and stayed there overnight. What a noisy camp and it's not one of our favorites. Probably won't camp there again. But anyway, now we're on our way to Marula via Skakuza. It's about 170 kilometers, so it's quite a long stretch, but it's okay. Nice weather and we're enjoying ourselves. Chokwane is another busy picnic spot. Like Afsol, they also sell delicious fit cook. We just added some of our own ham to make it more interesting. Marula is a small but busy rest camp that only has camping facilities. This time, however, it was quiet and enjoyable.
three of our trip to Kruger. We slept at Marula last night. It was actually very quiet and we enjoyed it for a change. Now we're on our way to Balule, which is our favorite camp. We're going via Satara and then Olifants. This is the Olifants River Bridge. It offers fantastic views of the massive river and surrounding areas and there are always nice surprises for anybody stopping there. We visit this bridge often when we stay at Balule. The Balule Bridge also crosses the Olifants River. Lule is our favorite rest camp. It has very basic amenities and offers only camping facilities and a few huts. The nearby Olifants River breathes life into the valley and the nature sounds are incredible. Sunsets and night skies are amazing. We are looking forward to eight nights here and exploring in every direction. This is where our adventure really begins. Next on Kruger 2023.